Hi everyone, welcome back to DIY with Pro. And today we're back where it all started, in my office. And today I have a problem. I'm a little bit crazy and stuff bugs me and I don't know if it bugs you. But when I'm moving my chair from one side of the office to the other, um, I have carpet tile and if the chair doesn't roll properly it really bugs me. Let me demonstrate. This is a chair that I've already fixed. Moves pretty good. Let's get that out of the way. This is a chair. Hi, Roxy. This is a chair that I haven't yet fixed. This drives me nuts when someone else is on my computer and it doesn't move at all. So today, I'm fixing the casters. So, my wife says I don't have a problem. I think we do have a problem. So, since my wife's not here, I'm fixing the chair. I'm going to start by removing your casters. Then you want to start by finding your new casters. You can get packs of these from, I guess, any uh, place you buy your regular office supplies. And uh, obviously count how many casters you need so you're not running back out to the store in the middle or you don't have extra ones. And then the other thing you want to do is figure out how big is the caster. Now for this I actually realized that I, this is an IKEA office chair and I couldn't find just another IKEA caster. Um, so I've got a caliper here and what I'm going to do is just measure the size of the, the, the base or the post that's um, on the caster just to make sure that I know what the size is. Now you can use the other side just to measure if you'd like what you've got on the other side. Now um, they're all different sizes is what I found when I was doing the other one so this just doesn't fit in any of the holes. So what I did is I went out to the store and I bought a drill bit. Now every set of casters you use is going to require a, um, a different um, bit. The last one I used wasn't actually from uh, the Staples brand, it was from somewhere else. So I've changed the caster in the meantime. So I wound up, I wound up uh, just getting another uh, drill bit that fit. I'm going to shut this on again and just take this and so now I know what I've got here and on this I can just tighten this so I know exactly what I've got and then I just want to double check and see what I've got here now it's easier to go a little bit smaller than you need than it is to go a little bit bigger for various reasons obviously you don't want to have to um, try to fill in the plastic hole now I'm just going to go ahead and drill out this caster. Obviously don't get a caster big enough so you have to drill the steel. You want to be able to stay within the plastic uh, bushing that's inside. Start by drilling it slow. Well, hopefully they roll better. Now it's time to clean up the mess. I'll be right back. Now for the test. Oh, that is much better. And the kitten is still in the chair. This is fantastic. This is much better than that other chair or those other wheels. Now that the chair works well, I'm happy again. If you'd like to comment on this kitty or any other kitties, or on this project, please feel free, comment below. Until next time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time on DIY Like a Pro.